was horrible. Brand new reel. Poor guy. All right. What's up, guys? Daniel Elias fishing here. Um, hey, got the first one. I'm out today. It is um, almost July, so we're approaching the 4th of July holiday. Got the first fish. Um, that one was on a shape 108, um, so just a little craw bait and um, just plucking it around on the bottom. The, the fish are really in a post-spawn mood. I know it's July, but um, I'm up in the river. They spawn late up here. So, um, you know, they haven't quite hit a summer pattern like they have in the main lake. So I'm taking advantage of that. I might get another few days of this and then it's going to go away. But thanks for tuning in, liking and subscribing. Um, leave me a comment and let's see if we can get it done today. Appreciate you guys. first one on a bed that's a good one too fat fish all right <laughs> that was a fun one thank you so guys I was actually um, just coming through and flipping a little bit flipping these toolies and I saw that one down there and decided to stop and throw at it and I caught it got me all slimed up but um, hey we'll take it second fish of the day all right guys here's the problem I got a bed down here there's two fish on it the male is decent it's not bad the female is really 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 big I have shook off the mail probably 20 times um, and at this point I am half tempted to just stick them and see what happens. Um, the current's starting to kick up, they're back pumping and, and I don't want to get pushed off this bed where I can't see it so maybe I'll stick the mail, take my chances, eee, we'll see what happens. So there's the male on a uh, shape 108 pretty decent fish you know um, but I want the female the female is way 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 bigger than this one so let's see what we can come up with This is a grown one, guys, a real big one. I'm just happy it's taking me out in the middle and not into the tule.
that's a giant. <laughs> weight all stuck in my hand. <clears throat> Golly. How about that one? Let me spin that boat around so you can see it. Look at the size of that one. <laughs> I'm probably, I'm guessing maybe an eight. I don't know. Let's find out real quick and I'll turn it loose. Wow. Wow, 914. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be eight something, it was nine. How about that one? <laughs> All right, let me go put a turn loose real quick where I was. All right, one more to look at that one. <laughs> All right, girl, time to go back. All right, so one of the few times that catching the male first actually paid off. Um, I knew it was fat. I thought it was like going to be eight something. It was 914, so barely over nine pounds. Another nine pounder. Um, I don't know how many I've caught this spring, but it's a lot. I still haven't cracked a 10. Um, I actually didn't think that fish was that big. I thought it was, you know, seven and a half, eight in the water. It turned out to be a little bit bigger, but... I'm gonna keep looking. Um, I want that 10 pounder, man. I don't know how many nine pounders I've caught at this point, but not a 10. Still an awesome fish. Whew. stuff we'll take them thanks bud man Golly. look at the shape of that thing kind of wild looking challenging one buried way up in there they came off too 
That one was buried way in the stuff. But we got them. out of there. you yeah <laughs> wow he got some gunk on him but hey we got him baby all right pretty good fish Whew. I'm gonna tell you catching those fish on light line like that is the most stressful thing you know and it's just it's hard but you got to stay patient even when they're trying to take you around boulders and stuff but um you know they're finicky man i'm i'm, I'm having trouble getting bit out here uh, on a bait caster and heavy line so i went to the light line um like i've had to do recently but it works out stay patient with that light line when you hook a big one because you may lose some but you may catch something like that Guys, I saw this fish when it came up right there, and it was big. Ah, I want to take him to the back deck so badly. I land him up here so y'all can see him, but it's not fun.
that's a giant. That is a bona fide giant. Oh, no, no. Got you. <laughs> wow. How about that one? Yeah. So that's what you come here for, fish like that. Um, wow. I knew it was going to be a good one, but woo wee. Pretty good fish. We'll take it. Let me run them back where it came from. I wonder what that one weighs. Maybe I'll throw them on real quick. Eight forty nine. Eight forty nine. Yeah, buddy. See you, dude. All right, guys. So now might be a good time to show you what I've been doing with the spinning rod. Um, you know, a couple weeks ago I was throwing a power stinger. Um, this week, on my drop shot setup, um, this is it, and uh, I just got six pound test on here, and that's a. Power Bass Minnow um, from Berkeley. So Power Bait Bass Minnow um, is what I'm throwing on this drop shot. It's got a really cool action where it just sort of hangs there. Um, but the most important thing when you're fishing light line and hooking big fish is having a good drag. Having a good drag is critical. So this is an Abu Garcia uh, Xenon 30 size spinning reel. The drag on it is insanely smooth. Um, and, and that's so key when you're throwing a little tiny hook like that. Um, and having a, having a solid sensitive rod I think is also helpful. Um, it's not as important as it is when you're fishing deep, but it's still important. This is a uh, Fantasista X. It's a seven foot medium. Typically I'm gonna drop shot with a 610 medium light uh, with a nose hook, but the fish in here are so big that I've been going with the seven footer uh, recently. So seven foot medium. Um, which is really a good all-purpose rod. I use it for shaky heads. I use it for um, small twitch style baits. I use it for the general. Um, I use it when I'm um, neko rigging. Uh, it's just a really good versatile rod. Um, but I'm gonna keep looking. I'm gonna keep fishing and maybe I can come across another good one. interesting lost them twice the okay <laughs> let me explain real quick why I'm losing them I mean I know why I'm losing them but the fish is in a really strange position um, and I'm gonna hold myself off this rock here um, the fish is in a really strange position where I can't get the bait like behind him because he's on the edge of a, of a boulder the only way I can get him to bite is when he's facing me. And that is not a good thing to do, right? Is set the hook when a bed fish is facing you because you lose a lot of them, you miss a lot of them. But really I have no choice. Now I could probably have thrown the drop shot in there and caught him, but um, I, I don't want to. Um, I'm just kind of sick of throwing the drop shot. So I've lost him twice. 
I might have to throw the drop shot up there, but um, I don't know. It's kind of personal now. <laughs> Finally got him. It took uh, <laughs> three tries, um, and I had to go to the drop shot with the power bass minnow. But we got him. Thanks, bud. Thanks for playing. Got you. Got that one. That's a pretty good one too. Ooh we barely got him in the lipsy. Just barely. And popped out. I lost my weight, but hey. Finicky again though, you know. Tried throwing a Texas rig on him, wasn't gonna happen, but that fat one fell for the drop shot. Thanks, bud. Bud. It's another one fun all right guys that's gonna do it for the day uh, had a ton of fun the sight fishing bite is definitely tapering off uh, caught some bed fish obviously I caught a bunch of fish that weren't on beds as well but uh, had a really good time um, this will probably be the last time I'll be here for a while so I'm gonna hit some other lakes um, got some stuff coming up, got some vacations planned, but uh, 
Appreciate you guys watching, liking, subscribing, leaving those comments, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.